Carrie Miller, that's great. Uh, amazing. I can't it's, believe it's Sunday already. Um, we have been going for like Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. It's four days already in. And I mean, everyone has really been, I think, more than I expected incredible. And the weather's played its part, which has been nice. Uh, I, wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't say totally played its part because it really messed up an interview a little earlier that we wanted to do outside. Oh. <laughs> but, but otherwise, yes, it has actually it's been nice and warm. It hasn't been cold. Yeah, it no, it's been... been good. And then you know when the rain comes, it actually kind of encourages everyone to come inside and watch the music. Which sometimes we do get a little bit sidetracked by the bar, so I think it's good that everyone is, is reminded, for, you know, about why we're here, and that's the fact that there's amazing live music happening almost all day. So you've been emceeing on the main stage mostly. What, what does it feel like being on the stage with these amazing Jeez. South African artists, and then you get Boating for Soup coming out, and you've got the uh, Pierce Brothers playing now, so top international acts as well. Well, I mean, look, there is literally no instrument I could play <laughs> that could get me onto a band, that could get me onto the stage. So it is the only way that I can get on stage. the next best thing. And I, I mean, the feeling of standing up like that and seeing all these people and the cool thing is, I know they're not there for me, so there's no pressure on me, but that feeling of being able to be on stage and seeing these people, they're just hype, they're excited, they just want to be here. Um, it's a sense of camaraderie and everyone is just friends now, you yeah. know? Like whoever's next to you, in front of you, behind you, like we're mates, let's do this. And I mean, from from the stage, backstage, it's amazing. From the front, yeah. being part of the audience, even better. No, but it, you, uh, you mentioned everybody being so friendly. This really is the friendliest festival ever. Yeah. It's like well, it's this amazing. is what you were just mentioning the Pierce Brothers now, and I was chatting to them um, just before they go on stage, and they said that they have they've done some tours, some pretty big other countries that they've done, and without a doubt, this is the best festival they've been to. They said it is just so beautiful. Everyone is just so cool. Uh, there's a sense of like groundedness of like people that are just like kiff people. Yeah. And I think that's what KZN also offers, which is why we just, everyone is drawn to this festival as well. Over the last couple of days, I spoke to a lot of artists and, and, and it was funny talking to Robert Duck as well, Prime Circle. All the guys say the same thing that, about Special Fin. What is it about Special Fin that makes it so friendly and so special? Well, I, I mean, you must have, I'm sure you've met Stu, yes, and yes. number one as well. And I think his whole demeanor on this festival is you. So he wants you to have a great time. He wants you to feel safe. He wants you to hear the artists you want to hear. As an artist, he wants you to feel comfortable and, and, and. So his intention is not like, let's make the bucks. Yeah. His intention is, let's make a good festival where you feel safe, you can have fun, and your tents are fine, and, 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 and you know, you can bring your kids, you can bring your friends. So I think... And it is a really well-organized festival. That's it. You know, he really has, he's got a team of cleaners that are both picking up the rubbish and, you know, sorting out the loose that are dedicated to that because he understands what it is that we are looking for as well. So it doesn't matter how much tequila you've had, when you go to the loo you don't want to have a yeah, bad experience. No, and when those little things are covered and the music is there, it doesn't matter how much rain there is. You have a, like a happy heart, you know. Absolutely. Yeah. Now, um, we, we are experiencing Special Fence slightly differently, you and I, mm. in the sense that I'm slumming it a little bit. Okay. And, and you're glamping. And I know okay, that you, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you were talking on air about glamping. Yeah. So what's it been like? Tell us. About it. Well, look, the glamping is another experience altogether because, look, it's a normal tent. So you don't feel like you're away in a BNB and you're not part of the festival. I'm in a tent and I have the rain on the canvas and I've got my muddy boots and everything. But I'm not on the floor. I, uh, I've got a little bit of a bed. And they've got some showers and loose setup, which is really nice. And I mean, other than that, okay, yeah, there's a great breakfast every day. And there's a black point. <laughs> you see, you see, you see, this is what I'm talking you know, about. Uh, I, look, now that I have glams, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie. It's like once you glam, you never go back. <laughs> I don't know. How many special have you done? Um, I think this is actually my ten. Ten special. Mm. I did splashies for years and years and years. Just as a regular then, festival. Girl, just love to come to splashy. Yeah. I have emceed it once before. And then um, I was in the Cape for a while, and now since I've been back, this is my second year back in Durban, and this is my first splashy now back since I come. And I mean, it is you, it's 100% the best splashy thing. So tell us a bit about Kerry, because we we don't often get you on camera. You know, we hear you every day on air. Mm. Who is Kerry? What do you do? What do you? Uh, well, I mean, obviously I wake up very early, and I yeah. go and spend time with those boys, those boys. Darren and Sky. <laughs> 
and then um, well, yeah, once I'm done with work, you know, I love to just chill out. And my, my sister's got babies, and I'm, I'm a very devoted aunt down here. I'm obsessed with them. I love to give them back. I also teach yoga. Oh, really? Yeah, so um, I love my yoga, and I, I like to teach yoga. And the cool thing about it is the more you teach it, the more you realize you don't know. And I think on radio, it's, it's quite an ego job. You know, people listen to you. They, they hear you. It's, it's about being backstage, all this cool stuff. And then yoga reminds you that, hey, everyone is the same. And you aren't better than anyone else. It doesn't matter if you're on stage, behind stage, sitting at the back or cleaning something. You are like an equal person. And so I feel like I spend a lot of my time just kind of being, read, study, do whatever. I've just learned to do hair wraps. Look at <laughs> these. It's like my little hippie in me. Yeah. Because yeah. so cool. I have a lot of time for you. Nice. Like a lot of time. <laughs> And we're getting East Coast, loving it. I love it. I love it so much, yeah. I love nice, it. nice family environment there as well. It's basically like a splashy bed in a studio, you know. Nice. It's um, I think the attention is right there at the moment. It's hope it's wanting to make my listeners happy, wanting to bring them cool stuff. At the same time, you know, you have to have rules. And that's why I love that whole thing is like you you know what you need to be, you know what you need to do. And then when I'm out of the studio, I can be wild. I also really enjoy my wine. So like in the evenings, <laughs> I have like what I say, like a wine tasting every day, just for me for me. Nice. If I'd known that, we would have set up a little uh, wine tasting up here. Well, then we would never well, finish the interview. Uh, <laughs> Another bowling for soup incident. <laughs> wow, you have no idea. It was a crazy interview. Really? Chaos. It was beautiful. Really? It was so oh my fun. gosh, that's amazing. Because that's how it started. It started with the drink. And that's it just when it comes. 10 minutes turned into the Well, now I feel like <laughs> I've been let down. Come on. No, not at all. Future plans. Well, you know what? I am of mind and of thought that. You cannot really plan anything more than two days ahead. Um, whatever's meant to be is there. So right now, you do your absolute best. And then future you will be grateful. So if you, you know, like everyone says, I know I should A, B, and C. It's like if you know that you should do that thing, do it. So right now, I feel like I'm doing what's good for me right now. And hence, I believe that future me will be sorted. 100%. I don't have like any major plans. I want to stick to what I'm doing now. I'm very happy with East Coast. I'm very happy with my yoga. At the go same time, it, as as you, you can, never know what's going to happen, you know, you never know where, where no, what's going to happen. No, it's an ideas or ambitions, aspirations. I just want to be happy. I want to be happy and I want to be calm and I don't want to live waiting to be 65 so I can retire and enjoy my life. For sure. On a final note, Darren? Yeah? Is he, is he as chaotic in the studio as what way, he sounds? Way worse. <laughs> no, no, Darren, Darren. Actually, no, weirdly enough. I remember from when I was young and he was... Hosting a television. Yes, no, no. Was, Darren loves to, to it was remind like a game show on TV. And, yeah, it was like a game show thing, and he was very entertaining on yeah. the game show. And listening to him on radio, he's actually. Calm down a bit. But I, I wouldn't say so. <laughs> but going back to my question, though, he comes across on here, and you all do actually, as this like really bubbly bunch of people, and meeting you, you are that. Is Darren and Sky the yeah. same? Yeah. You know what? The, these are guys, I think what happens with radio as well is you are chosen for who you are, yeah. so you don't have to play a character. So when yeah. Darren was in a movie, he was playing a character. That's Darren, Sky, and Carrie, who we are. Of course, we took it up a little bit because you're on air, but Darren is that guy. He is wild and quiet sometimes. He, um, like the life of the party, and also sometimes just fun in the corner being alone. So. One, one thing I like about what's coming through your show is that you guys care. Yeah. You guys do a lot of good stuff on the show. Uh, what is the driving force behind that? Well, to be honest, we are very much just the vehicles for that because KZN gets involved and KZN does all that. We are lucky enough to be the mouthpieces, so I feel like people often get their, their uh, misconstrued like what's happening and they say, oh, well done, you guys, your team's done well. But without the listeners and without KZN and anyone streaming that gets involved, it wouldn't happen. So yes, we care enough to, to get the ball rolling we are but a tiny cog in the entire machine. So you reckon the province of KZN is amazing in that way? They are 100% amazing. I mean, I've worked in radio in Cape Town and I love my radio in Cape Town. I really, really do. There's no buts. Uh, KZN has got a community aspect that I have never seen before. Oh. Never in my life. And so it makes doing stuff like hard stuff really, really easy. Oh, really, really nice. Yeah. Kerry, thank you so much. It's so great bumping into you. It's yes, and you. And it's about time I met you. You've been doing an amazing job on stage. Ah, Absolutely so. amazing. <laughs> we look forward to seeing the rest of it tonight. Thank you so much.